All right, guys. Just want to do a quick walk around of my trailer. Um, just start here in the back. So I've got my bleach, sodium hypochlorite, 12%. Um, my toolbox. Over here, we've got a few things in there. Ball valve, some keys, some uh, stay bill, soap, some other uh, chemicals and different mixes from uh, Pressure Tech. Uh, I've got five gallon bucket of F13, or I believe it's F13, it's gutter grenade um, for cleaning oxidation off gutters and stuff. Um, also sourced from Pressure Tech. I'm a big fancy sign here in the back. Uh, please don't spam call me. But then uh, also my uh, bleach mix bucket. Let's go wide angle here. Mix bucket with my downstream injectors and stuff. Right now I'm using one of my spare hoses as my whip for my eight gallon machine. Uh, keep a spare uh, 100 foot hose on the side here. And as you can see, I've got my two surface cleaners. Um, I made a little mount for them. Just welded it to the trailer. Two uh, uprights, uh, two by two square inch tubing and a uh, little tractor supply locks here. You see it's kind of got a spot to hang in there on either one of them. Um, it's in there pretty good. You'd have to really want it to get it out. It kind of locks in. But that's for the four gallon machine. That's the eight gallon machine. Uh, I need a bigger trailer, honestly. Um, but this has worked for now. This is my four gallon a minute Honda machine, uh, belt driven. I said four gallon a minute. I've got my um, fuel cell underneath it for my eight gallon a minute. Uh, spare bucket, a uh, gas can, my um, rags over there, my see down there I'll keep this uh, little scrub brush on hand just in case I get a gutter job that I should try and avoid and here's uh, my eight gallon a minute setup it's a 760 predator motor from Harbor Freight with a reducer and a general pump on it um, it's it's worked great really can't have no complaints this motor fires up every every time I ask it to um, Keep my cones over here on the side. I keep three of them. Uh, it's probably overkill. I mean, just put one by the trailer, one in the front of the truck, and one in between them on the street side. Um, just a little kind of newer addition I've, I did. I had these squirt bottles. I'm always doing tests now and then to uh, kind of test what works in different situations. So I've got a bunch of Dollar Tree uh, squirt bottles filled with different things, and I've got most of them marked. On the side there but it's a pretty handy little de deal got my hoses set up here uh, so when I pull up they're on the passenger side so you can pull you know it's obviously on the proper side of the street normally is where uh, where you want to be got my water hose and it's feeding straight into the tank and it's got a um, a ball up here so sort of when the wall if the tank was to fill up the ball chokes the it plugs the hole so it can't just keep overflowing and spit out my fittings or anything. Uh, this is my four gallon a minute hose reel and then my eight gallon a minute hose reel. And uh, these are also from Pressure Tech. They've worked great for me. You lube them up every once in a while, just keep them rolling right. And uh, you can set the tension on them over here with this handy little wing nut. Um, something, I'm, something I'm working on as of today actually is a way to hold my wands up and uh trying to figure out the best way to do it and to lock them down and stuff i'm thinking i'm gonna come off of here with a piece of flat stock and um, a little hinge or something or just a way to secure them um, it's because i don't like having them down here that's where i've been keeping them is just shoved under there but this is uh this is my setup down there there's the um, the feeds for the pumps you can see that feed for the eight gallon and the four gallon uh, I've been using this setup for a year it's worked great there's a spare garden hose an extra 150 foot if I ever need it just come in handy quite a few times um, battery box and everything 
if I could make a suggestion to you if you want to be serious about this get a bigger trailer uh, it's nice having a little bit more space the tank is plenty big um, I don't ever carry much water maybe 100 gallons 120 um, I'm pulling this with my Tacoma 08 Tacoma or 94 Land Cruiser so um, it's worked out okay for now but uh, I'm looking to get a bigger truck and upgrade the trailer size just to have more space it's a little cluttered so I'm getting creative if you can't tell but yeah and, uh, another last but not least the really handy feature is this um, having this mounted here the table vise it's been super handy for on the job fixes um, in my dump valve I probably should mention that that's also very handy so hope this helped if you liked it give me a thumbs up subscribe all that thanks